Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for uh, checking out this video. Uh, today I have got a great conversation with Jim at Fulcrum and the Force and Sems from Sems Nerd. So say hi guys. Hi. <laughs> hello. Uh, I forgot to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, it's just going to be a, a laid back chat. It's not about lightsabers this time. It's actually about Star Wars, something that's quite close to all of us. Uh, myself, I am an OG fan. Uh, Sems, I believe you're a prequel fan, and Jim loves everything, but you're a huge sequel fan, aren't you, Jim? Yeah, I don't mind being pigeonholed, though, so let's be clear. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, basically, we're just going to go over some questions. Uh, I get asked, um, I get emails and messages on my videos saying different things about my thoughts on Star Wars. I thought rather than me just answering them, uh, it'd be nice to get uh, three different points of view. Uh, like I said, I'm very much in the OG. Um, I'm old. I haven't really got past the OG yet, but I did like the prequels. Um, and I thought it'd be nice to get some different viewpoints. So one of the first questions uh, that I get asked quite a lot is, who, which is the best princess? Um, yeah. So for me, out of all three of them, uh, it's got to be Princess Leia. She was badass as well as being cool at what she did. Yeah, um, I, I think I would agree. I mean, I'm older than all of you, so yes, I, I think for me, like she was the first, she was the best. Yeah, true. What do you think, Sam? I mean, you're more of a prequel, so I'll put you on the Padme. It's still no, just Padme. I mean, of them ones, I still think Leia is the best. Like of them, of them three. Right, I wouldn't say Ray's a princess. Um, no. But if we just, for the sake of argument, same years, I still think Leia is the best, like written character mm. of them three. It's it's quite interesting because obviously at the moment with the Disney uh, Disney Star Wars they're trying to make Rey the the strong independent lead. Uh, she's a really good actress. I, I actually quite like her as an actress. Um, and Disney are going a very clear route. But it's interesting that we all pick Leia, which is what thirty years ago now, more than thirty years ago. Well, it's over thirty years ago, and uh, yeah, <laughs> she was still a really strong independent, you know, ro like really cool. Uh, individual character. I mean, they nailed it in in all aspects of uh, of somebody that I wanted there. I mean, she could have been a lead of her own thing, to be honest. She was really, really good. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a, a damn shame that we lost her when we did when we were doing the uh, the sequels. Mm. But you know, even it, it was nice to see her in those. It was great to see her um, in the Force Awakens. Loved her in that. Uh, would have been nice to have a bit more of her in there, but they had a lot to do in a specific amount of time, so I couldn't stand that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's so many iconic scenes from the OG that I still remember like crystal clear today, but yeah, she was in some amazing scenes. Um, it, I, I always enjoyed the, um, the fun between her and Han Solo was of like, he likes her, she likes him, but they're not going to say it, but then it kind of, it does happen at the end. Um, I think when it came to Force Awakens and the uh, sequels, it's kind of obvious that they're going to go with the way he did with them, you know, have a kid and that sort of stuff. So, but it was nice to see how it evolved. It's, I had hoped they'd still be together, though. I, I was a bit disappointed when they had gone their own separate ways. But I suppose Han Solo is a rogue, you know. He mm -hmm. has to do what a rogue does. So, But it would have been nice if they were still together. I would have thought. I, th I think, obviously, um, them not being together lent very much into the story of of how of Ben and everything that was going on with him. I think had they been together, it would have been a, a not as deep a story because, like, they basically split up because he essentially became Kylo Ren. And you know, with, without without that, I, I don't think that turn has as much power as it does if you see what it does to each individual person from the original trilogy and how it affects them all individually. Yeah, I suppose the other thing is, if they were still together when, by the time of Force Awakens, would that relationship become stale? You know, would they have got to the point where they're like fed up with each other, a bit bored of each other, and just like, you know, like a uh, a loveless kind of marriage type thing? You, you, you would would we want to have been witness to that, where we have the great memories of what they were prior? I mean, yeah, possibly. Then <laughs> you have to put it down on stuff, don't you? Even if they were together, they'd be in a soulless, loveless marriage. Miserable. 
miserable <laughs> and lonely and they hate each other. <laughs> well, Dems just made it way worse than I did. Anyway, right. So the next question. It's definitely, it's definitely layers. Yeah. Uh, the next question is, um, which bad guy was the best? Which is a good one, actually. For me, I mean, personally. It's fair. Snap. But also, Palpatine was pretty badass. Snoke was shit. Yeah, but Kylo Ren was good. good. Uh, uh, Kylo, Kylo Ren's my favorite character, so I'm going to say Kylo Ren. But I know in, if you're saying the greatest villain, then yeah, it's not Vader. He's one of the greatest villains in movie well, history. Time, yeah. it. Well, no, it's your yeah. person. Who was your person? Your personal favorite bad guy in the movies? Yeah, if it's who is my favorite, then it's Kylo Ren. If it's who I think is the best, then it's Darth Vader. So right, okay. You see, the, the interesting thing is when when they took off Vader's helmet, it didn't spoil anything for me at all. When they took off Kylo's Ren helmet, he lost a lot of uh, his presence, I felt. This is from Even my better, personal view. Yeah, no, it's 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 on, it's off. People started, people started, he's Darth Vader 2.0, but he's not. He's. I never thought he's that. I never a thought conflicted, that at all. He's a conflicted man. It, if anything, I think. His absolute best to be bad. So yeah, and I think for me, for me, wearing the bad stuff. For me, just personally, I, th I thought it added to it when he took his helmet off and there was nothing wrong with him. He's trying so hard to be so hard mm. the new Vader when he, he, he has no he, he has nothing behind that. He's just angry with I, his uncle. I, when he was in Force Awakens, I loved it with his helmet on. I, I loved the voice as well. I thought it was I thought it was brilliant. I, I can see what you're saying about I can see what you're saying about Vader 2.0, but I never ever thought never crossed my mind. I just thought this guy is badass, he's cool, he's evil, I like his helmet and I like his voice. And I loved his the connection with the force I had, his powers and stuff. But that's the point though, he's not evil. That's the entire point. Like, that's the point of his whole character is yes, from the outside looking in when he's got his helmet on, yes, mm. he may when it starts mm. off, he looks evil and you're right, all of those things. You just said absolutely, but the point is, when he takes his helmet off, you realise that that's not who he is at all. Yeah, but that's the point. <laughs> now, I'll be honest. For me, um, his reforged helmet in Rise of Skywalker was better than the original. Oh yeah, with all, that, like, with all the red yeah, cracks yeah. going through it. Mm. it. It does look sick. I, I prefer the original one. Fair yeah. But but that that one with the red is very sick. Oh, and have you yeah. seen I mean, people was... people that have made them and have actually had that and it lights up? Yep. Oh, Very yeah, yeah. nice. I mean, you've got to, if you're going to re, if you're going to do it, you've got to make the lines light, light up. It's, it's yeah, crazy. for sure. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's a given. But yeah, I mean, I must have, uh, the the Darth Vader suit. I loved the look of that. I mean, it's iconic. You know, it's, it'll always mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. iconic. But they did an incredibly good job with Kylo Ren's costume. Uh, I mean, to. To to make to make something that's iconic that lasts and to stand out, but also be completely unique in its own right, it's not easy to do. No. Um, I years ago I made the Batman Dark Knight suit or a copy of it, and it took me months just to do the helmet. And every time I tried doing the helmet, I had to correct things and change things to get it right. And it's only at that point when I'm like carving and crafting out of clay. You realize how many subtle lines there are and how much mm. work goes into something that looks so simple. And it's the same with his suit. If you look at his suit from a bit of a distance, it just looks black. But when you get up close, you see these amazing different types of fabric and all these overlaying parts that go to make this one ensemble. And it's absolutely brilliant. It's mm. a completely different take on how to do a bad guy compared to what Vader was. Vader's yeah. almost in comparison is quite simple in the sense of it's just one main bodysuit with a chest plate, helmet, and a cape. Whereas Kylo's run had way more. I mean, Sims, you know, you've, you've gone, you've done an insane uh, replica mm -hmm. homage to his suit, and uh, the amount of work it takes. I mean, how long does it take you to get into that full thing from start to finish? I mean, it must take what an hour, uh, like twenty? Nah, nah, not an hour. Maybe like 20, 30 minutes if I'm doing it on my own with a mirror. If there's no yeah. mirror, then yeah, it might might go a little bit over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so this kind of leads on that's quite a nice segue to the next question which is about the Han Solo movie and what did I think of it now I've only watched a little bit of it I haven't watched the whole thing and before you say anything uh, just let me finish my, what I want to say first you haven't even got to the good bits yet mate <laughs> so 
when yeah. when they're going to do the Han Solo film, I knew what the premise was. I knew what they're going to do is about Han Solo <laughs> and meeting Chewbacca and his escapades and you know what happened to him from then before Luke found him and all that sort of thing. And I, for me, I I always wanted not to know about how Han Solo was prior to the films. And I thought what would be a good idea for the Han Solo movie if the character of Han Solo was actually Han Solo's father. So if you think the film is based, the whole film is based on his father, and we watch the whole film going through as his father, because Wookiees live like 100 odd years or something, like got a really long lifetime. So it could have been quite plausible that his father was with Chewie. They had huge adventures. He was a huge rogue and all this sort of thing. And then at the end of the film, he ended up with a small child, uh, small baby boy, which was then Han Solo. And then we would never know how Han Solo lived his life, but we know why he lived the way he did because of his father's influence and how his father lived. And for me personally, I think that would be much clever, much more uh, clever take on how to do the Han Solo film. So, because he's, he's such an iconic character, everybody has their own thoughts and own created backstory in the mind of what it was like prior and all this sort of thing. So you could have let everyone retain and keep those ideas and thoughts, but at the same time, giving us more of like, so that's why he does this because his father always did it. And that's why he doesn't want to stay around in one place because his father never stayed in one place too long. And I think that would have been a great way of giving us Han Solo movie, keeping everyone's ideas to themselves of what could be but also filling a lot of blanks without filling them. A bit like the the like Jaws with, you know, not actually being able to see the fish or the shark. Mm -hmm. You get the same with Han Solo. Um, I, uh, I'm fairly sure you've both watched the full film, haven't you? Yeah. 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 What, so you two can answer that question better than me. What, what was yours take on <laughs> it? I'll let shit speak, please. Yeah? It's proper shit, man. Proper shit. The worst movie in Star Wars. The worst, wow. the second worst thing in all of Star Wars. Well, we've got Jim here going, no, 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 no. Go no, on, Jim. It's, no, not, it's, not, it's not the worst. <laughs> not the worst. <laughs> or which is not the worst the then? Yeah, no, movie. It's Attack of the Clones, hands down, is the worst. No, it's not. Solo is so fucking boring. The villain is despicably bad. The acting's bad. The CG ain't Why great. Why do they the use train? Bad. They've got spaceships. Why do they use trains to move things around when they've got spaceships? Because everybody loves a heist. <laughs> you do a heist on the, the film is, is, is terrible, man. It's really bad. Oh. Really, really, really bad. Movie. I don't, I, don't I, personally, I personally don't mind so low. I think it's fine. Like, it's not, it doesn't set the world on fire. I, I think it's largely unnecessary, but I don't hate it. That's that's not great things to say about the film. So no, I mean it's it's one of those films where you're like, it's, I'd never a rush to watch it again. Um, so there's, so there's nothing there's nothing that actively makes me go, I'm never watching that again. You know, I'm yeah. I'm I'm ambivalent at best. I'll I'll be honest. If I had the choice of watching Han Solo and someone giving me fifty quid, or watching Rogue One. Just to what instead, I would quite happily go for one. I know I keep yeah, forgetting but that's not a fair comparison because Rogue One is one of the best Star Wars movies ever. <laughs> as soon as Rogue yeah. One started, I felt I immediately had that feeling when I was a little kid watching Star Wars. They they nailed the feeling of Star Wars in that film. Um, there, there wasn't any point in that film where I didn't feel like I was five years old and it was Christmas time again. I was sat in front of the 12 inch t color TV in the living room watching Star Wars for the first time. That's what it took mm -hmm. me back to. Mm -hmm. And for a brand new film made in the last 20 years, to be able to do that is exceptional, I think. Uh, and it's a shame the sequels couldn't do that for me. They may have done it for other people, mm. which is fine. But for me personally, they Force Awakens got close. I will give them that. Force Awakens got close. That's because uh, it's just a new hope. Sam said it's not a copy. It is a copy. I love Force Awakens. Like, I, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Force Awakens is sick, man. So. Oh, no, I didn't say it wasn't great. Yeah, but it still, it still, it still hits. Yeah, it still hits a lot of the same beats. And that's that. Uh, but then yeah. for me, that's why it works. Yeah. Because yeah. of that. Because I'm like, yeah, all right, fine, Sam, planet, I'm fine. 
you know. So a lot of Star Wars is that though. As soon as I see sand, I'm like, we're on Tatooine again. Yeah, it's just the same shit. Like, what what is Jakku? It's just Tatooine, isn't it? But then yeah, you know, there's other sand planets that creep up and up, and you saw like eh, this is kind of like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, I again. mean Naboo was cool. I think Naboo was a, a really cool planet with all the trees and green foliage, and then the, like you got the whole city under the water. I mean that was, you know, it didn't stick in one thing. It felt like a proper planet with different variances and different yeah. uh, ecospheres. And I thought it was brilliant. I loved, I loved it when they went underwater with the giant sea fish and stuff like that. That was awesome. And then you have this like a sunken Atlantis type thing. You know, this uh, this place with all the uh, people in the, uh, there, which was great. Um, They're called Gungans. Thank you, Gungans. I should make notes of these things. You can bum in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's should. been a long time since I watched them. I did watch them all about a year ago. Uh, <clears throat> I, think, uh, well, I sat down and went through, start all the way to the end. It was, I enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, it was really, really good. Um, so, yeah, exactly the clients. Interesting. Out of curiosity, obviously, I told you my take on how I would have done Han Solo. If they had done that, would you two be? Do you think it would have been a better film if they'd done it that way? Or? That, is, that, is, no. that does sound better. I personally, I personally wouldn't want any character movies ever again. If you're going to do character stuff, stick it on Disney Plus. No character movies. Character movies do not work in Star Wars. Do not everything. I, I tend to agree with what you're saying. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I it would have been fine. Yoda movie. No, again, again, I think it would have still just been fine. It would have been all right. Like the problem with that, I like the premise of what you've said, and I like the idea of it. But it, it, but the, in the reality of Star Wars, it wouldn't work. Um, it would have been better to have that, I think, rather than what they did. If they're going to do it at all, if that makes sense. Yeah, the problem is, is if you do that, you have to go back so far in time that you're sort of sitting in the clone wars era and mm. then that changes the whole premise of everything around the story um See, so um, I, the, there's there's two aspects of styles i would love them to um visit so to speak one would be um about 900 years in the past well maybe 800 years in the past when yoda was younger i'd love to see what they'd come up with for that and also, uh, I'd like to see them do something with uh, Darth Plagueis, to be honest. Because, let's be honest, one of the most famous lines from the prequels is uh, the story about Darth Plagueis. Yeah. Everybody wants to know Darth Plagueis now. Because it just starts mean, with everyone. There is, a, there is a book that is canon that tells you his entire life story. Disney canon or Lucas canon? No, Disney canon. Holy shit! They actually did let something like that mm -hmm. go through. Wow. There's a there's a lot of books that are actually canon that um mm -hmm. that people don't think are canon. There's a lot of them. Uh, right. Vader books, uh, Qui Gon and Obi Wan books, loads of them. No, all right, okay, fair enough. Right, well, they the, only rem they only they re release them, and they, it's only later on that they decanonize them. Like it did with the Ahsoka book. When the Ahsoka book first came out, it was canon, and then when they decided mm -hmm. to do more things with the character, they said. Actually, that book isn't canon. We're we're going to do our own version. But yeah, there is a there is a canon book of Darth, Darth Plagueis, and also I think with the show The Acolyte, we are going to start going back quite some time in time um, oh, yeah. to to sort of yeah yeah a few hundred yeah. years in the past. I, I'll I'll be honest. Nothing they've done so far has piqued my interest, and I'm not trying to be negative or an ass by saying that. It's just I, I I very much like the OG. I like the prequels. I like Rogue One, but nothing else has really made me think. Oh, that would make me feel you'd like I did. Probably didn't. like Mandalorian, mate. If you like, if you like the OG stuff, you'd probably really like the Mandalorian. You must it have fits perfectly in that. Mm. Yeah. And if you love Rogue One, then then there's Andor as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, apparently Andor was meant to be one of the most uh, most liked out of everything. Uh, and uh, it was massively underrated. Um, and I love Andor. Started, I think it's fantastic. It just didn't do the views, though. But I think uh, was it? Did it? Was it Andor shortly after something else that didn't do very well, though? Um, and people were just like, "Oh, I just can't be asked now because this was so bad." And no, there's, there's, no, I don't think so. It didn't do well. There's a reason why it didn't boring. do well. Though. The concept is boring. That's why oh, that might be what that might be why it was boring, Jim. 
it was very good. Just the yeah, no, the concept there's is no Ahsoka, the concept. There's no man. Yeah. There's no guns. There's no light shakers, There's no Jedi. There's no, there's no clone. No clone wars. It's just about yeah. some dude getting ar- getting arrested. But pretty much, yeah, that it's, is a, it's so, about the birth. It's about the birth of the rebellion, and um, uh, but when when you take out the fact that there's no yeah, like Sam said, you know, there's very there's obviously there's an empire in it. But there's there's no like there's no Jedi there's no anything else I think you have to go into that show yep. ready for that and I think that's why people didn't like it they're like it's not exciting enough but there's more to that show than just being flashy and all the rest. It, well, let's, let's be honest. I it's, mean, it's one of the deepest shows that Star Wars have done. It's pretty right. Okay. It's I mean, let, let let's be honest. They if they did that uh, with the flashy and flashy and all that sort of thing with. Um, uh, quite not quite on. Um, Kenobi, Kenobi, yeah. I watched, all, I actually watched all Kenobi. I was very disappointed. It was fine, mm. yeah. I liked it. It had bits, that it had potential, me, bits that underwhelmed me, but I still think it's better than the Bad Batch, it's better than both. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. By yeah. A lot. I, prefer I was, Kenobi I was quite and Andor. By how... I know Andor fundamentally is better, but I prefer Kenobi, so yeah. yeah. I'm, I was quite disappointed at how they had Obi Wan Kenobi forget everything or get forget so much with the Force and lightsabers and all that sort of thing. I was quite disappointed in that. Um, I, I think I think they had a very good opportunity to. He didn't do forget. Something. He shut himself off to the Force. Well, something yeah. the Jedi can do. Yeah, I know, but I, I think they mm-hmm. they missed. I actually uh, had the opposite complaint. Yeah. My complaint was. He shut himself in the force, and he learnt it too fast. That's why I yeah. wanted like ten episodes where he's gradually. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because from well, like episode there, three um... to five, he was like back to power grade A again. Do you know yeah, what I mean? he was. <laughs> there was a, there's somebody that's actually uh, that worked on editing the uh, Kenobi series, and he's actually in his own time re-editing the entire thing and retweaking everything to do like. Uh, a, a new version of the whole thing that's more fluid and uh, a lot of people seen um, like the early footage that he's done and saying it's absolutely brilliant and it's what we should have got but I, I've not huh? been able to find it yet yeah so uh, so the the next question um, is which is best the OG the prequels or the sequels uh, I've already said uh, in this video for me it's the OG <laughs> can, I, can I finish my sentence, Jim? I've already said it's the OG and the prequels. Yeah. I'll tell you why. I, 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 in fact, I'm going to tell you why. Since you're shaking your head so vigorously. No, I, no, 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 no. You're you're misinterpreting my my head shake. You, you're thinking that I don't agree with you when it comes to the original trilogy. Of course, it's the original trilogy. That it's a ridiculous question. Oh, is that the head shaking? Yeah, it's like. Right. You, as much as like it does depend on what you grow up with i do definitely think that um i i think it's the first thing you were exposed to um but at the same time without the original trilogy there would be nothing else so like you can't you, you it's like saying yeah yeah no it's got to be the the ot there's no other answer yeah See, I I also uh, I'm a big fan of the prequels as well. But for the uh, for me, the reason for the prequels was uh, I loved seeing uh, the um, how Darth Vader became Darth Vader, what what he was, and how he got to where he was. Uh, and I also liked all the all the politics in there as well. I found that fascinating. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't like that, and they said it was a when they came out. A lot of people were like, quite annoyed with all the politics and like, well, we didn't want to see politics, but. They're a huge part of it, uh, and they're a huge part of the whole franchise. You know how it all—it shows you how it all runs and how it all works. That you know all these people are willing to vote for something without really understanding what they're voting for, and then doom themselves. Uh, but they did it, as she said, uh, claps and uh, thunderous applause. Yeah, yeah, which is mm-hmm. crazy to think, but it's. And then we we then go through all that to then having Darth Vader, who then. Literally, is the whole of the the next film was like one of the the main characters, and he still lives on now in in many ways. He still has a big presence in the latest films. So, mm-hmm. 
when he was in Rogue One when they brought him back. I think they did an incredible job of that. That scene in Rogue One where he did, his lightsaber just come the turns best. on and just crashes himself. Oh, that's mm -hmm. I've seen so many people get that scene and put it to heavy metal rock music, and you're like, Yes, this is so cool. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, uh, so th for me, those those six films are just brilliant, and I I, I know lots of people like the the, the sequels, but um, you know, I, I'm I'm not a huge fan of them, but I don't dislike them, I don't hate them. Um, but for me, it's always going to be the OG and the the prequels. Uh, what about uh, yourselves? Because I know you're you're both quite. In, I mean, Kylo Ren is Sems is one of favorite characters. You're a huge fan of the the prequels and uh, sequels as well so how about you two i mean obviously the og is going to win but yeah og is uh, the best it's, it's never it not is, the best. Like, yeah I, exactly I, I think like yeah revenge of the sith is my favorite movie but mm. I, even the og is still better still gonna be the best it's never not going to be the best uh, i mean i i enjoy i enjoy all of them i uh, for me I, I struggled with a lot of the prequels, um, especially with Anakin's turn to the dark side in Revenge of the Sith came mm. very easily. Um, but with the inclusion of the Clone Wars cartoon series, I think that they very much fleshed out the character and, and kind of showed that moment to be even more poignant. So I think, you know, as time's gone on, mm -hmm. those parts of it have become even better than they were at first. Um, so I, I mean, I enjoy, I enjoy all of it. I'm very much a big fan of the sequel trilogy for, for what it is and some of the stories they were telling in that, but it'll always be the original trilogy, hundred percent. Yeah. There, there are elements of that that you can never replace. You can never change and you can never replicate. Cause I wasn't born. <laughs> uh, right. What's the, uh, the next question? Oh, we've, we've done that. Why was the OG so great? Okay. We've, we've kind of covered that one. Um, okay, so why the prequels were special is one of the next question, which you know, I think that could be quite a good question. I mean, I know we've kind of like spoken about it, but as I said, uh, when we're talking about it, for me, it was the story of how Darth Vader became who he was, uh, and also the um, mm -hmm. the politics in the film for me made it great. I mean, what, what about you two? Vader, mate, <laughs> Vader becoming Vader and the fights. The, the the lightsaber work in those films were fantastic. Mm -hmm. They were they were what everybody had wanted from the OG, but never got. But then finally we got it. And uh, I'm I'm not being funny, but Darth Maul was such a badass with those staff fighting two Jedi's at once. I mean, come on! And he was kicking ass. Let's be honest. So uh, mm -hmm. until like bloody Obi Wan sliced him in half, the cheater. Man, yeah, but that that's what's so good about Darth Maul is that's not where he ended. But well, hang on. He survived. Didn't did when so many, was many years. Anakin. Didn't he go down? Don't do it. I had the high ground. But Darth Maul had the high ground. So how did he not get Obi Wan when Obi Wan no, had the high ground? When did he have the high ground? When Darth when Oh yeah, no, I suppose he did, and he jumped over him and cut him off. Yeah, yeah, but he was cocky. He was cocky. Yeah. Darth Maul didn't say anything. Arrogant. Maybe that's, that's why they always should do it. Why I've got they the always high ground. used. That's why they I just realized. Losing. I caught that fucking trend when I saw it in the cinema. I was like, ah, oh, he's overconfident and he's lost. Yeah. Which is kind of the same thing in some of the Clone Wars stuff. Yeah. So, 
I feel like Obi Wan should have said something other than the "Don't do it." I have the higher ground. Like, do it. I've got a good chance of not getting you if I had a staff. Let's see what happens. I don't think that runs off the tongue quite as well, mate. <laughs> Give it a moment. <laughs> You'll get there. <laughs> yeah, but it was oh, the same on. thing. When he took his arm and both his legs off, did he? In like one foul swoop, so to speak. Yeah. So, and Darth Maul got slighted. Obi Wan's a bit of a bastard, isn't he? <laughs> Anyone that goes I love cutting people to pieces. Yeah, That's his thing. Yeah. That's what he does. He, Although he, saying he, that, Anakin did cut off Dooku's head. Yeah, yeah. But I, I do His remember some, there was some. I think it was a uh, somebody referred to Anakin basically as a human tank. <laughs> so he's like, it's incredibly hard to put the guy down. So <laughs> for sure. Um, okay, so this is the the last question. Um, I don't know if I ever want to ask this one because we have Jim here, but what has Disney done well with its films? Wait, are we what just talking films? films? What's not, first of all, what's your answer, Ben? I want to know what your answer is, though. I don't want to If it isn't what I think you're going to say, if it isn't what I think you're going to say, then I'm just, yeah. You know, okay, well, <laughs> what do you think I'm going to say, Sam? I want to, I want to know what you think. Hmm? Rogue One, obviously. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that one again. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I keep, I keep forgetting about Rogue One. As soon as you about... said Disney, and you had the face of, they're fucking shit, bro. They ain't done anything. I was like, That's what I was they did Rogue One, bro. They did Rogue One. They did Rebels. Well, this is what makes me laugh. People are like, oh, <laughs> Disney Star Wars is shit Star Wars. And I'm like, okay, so you don't enjoy Rogue One. You don't enjoy Rebels. Season 7 of Clone Wars. <laughs> Mandalorian. <laughs> and or... Ahsoka, like okay, fair enough. I, I I will appreciate the fact that maybe the sequels aren't to everybody's taste, and I'm, I'm cool with that. That's fair enough. Like they're not exactly what I would have done either, but I'm happy with what with what we got. Um, but if you expand it from that and actually just start yeah. looking a little bit further, they've actually done a hell of a lot of good stuff and given yeah, us Galaxy's a lot Edge. of really yeah. really good shit. Gal Galaxy's Edge, Galaxy's Edge. I've never been to that. I can't, I'm not going to include Galaxy's Edge because I've never been. Well, I haven't. I'm gonna. Okay. Well, that's fine because you've been. You can. You can uh, uh, testify to what you've been and seen. You know, you're. It was incredible. Ah, fair enough. Disney cool. gave us Chopper, the best droid ever made. Sure. Done. Fair enough. Um, no, I mean, yeah, I, I completely agree. The Rogue One is an amazing film. I, 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 it never really got as much. It never got as much love as I would like to have have gotten. To be honest, if that makes no. sense, um, and I, I think they did such a fucking good job on that film. The, the, that, like said, that's one of those films that gets better the more you watch it as well. Yeah, mm. well, like like all the other ones as well. It's it's crazy. Mm. Um, Not so. Uh, like I said I like the I like uh, <laughs> uh, I do. I, I know Daisy Ridley gets a lot of hate. Uh, and I've seen her in other films, and I don't. She's not a bad actress. She's just doing the best she has with what she's been, the way she's been directed. Uh, and obviously, as Jim said, it's a very controversial topic. The, the sequels, and some people love them, some people don't. You know, it's it doesn't make you right or wrong to like or not like them. I mean, everyone has their own preference. Uh, if, but, if you but, like, yeah. Them, right? I, can I can I add a caveat to that, please? Yeah, uh, I agree with what you've just said. I do agree with you, Ben, for once. Um, Yay! I do. I, it, it's everybody's personal choice, right? Absolutely. If you don't enjoy them, that's totally fair enough. But I think there's a difference between not enjoying something and actively going out of your way to hate it. Yeah, I mean, I, I suppose maybe there's no need uh, for that. Yeah, I, mm. I think I think the problem is you've got a lot of people that have grown up and loved these for a long time, and they're very very protective over something they treasure so closely. And mm -hmm. if and the, th the thing is, um, you'll never be able to make. Bro, I waited like, sixteen years after Return of the Jedi, and they gave me the Phantom Menace. I should be livid. Yeah, I like <laughs> but as I was saying, um, you know, uh, everyone has a right to enjoy or not enjoy something. I think there's a way of, if you don't like something. Yeah, you can say you don't like it, fair enough. But I don't think, as Jim said, I don't think you actively need to be aggressively nasty about it. There's no need for that. No. Uh, Unless you're solo. And, then, <laughs> and this 
or Bad Batch. And there's still plenty of stuff to enjoy as well. That's just it. It's just like, so, okay, so you don't like this over here, but there's this over here that you're probably going to enjoy. Yeah. You know, that, the, that's, where I, that's where I struggle with things, I think. Yeah, I mean, there's there's so much. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's huge the the amount that they've got out there. So you do, like Jim said, you don't if you don't like this, that's fine. Just ignore that little bit. And just, you know, took it over there and then enjoy this yeah. bit. The bit you like, you know, that's what I do. Hundred percent. I'll, I'll rewatch the uh, prequels and I'll watch Rogue One and I'll watch uh, the OGs as loads over and over again. I might go back and watch Force uh, Force Awakens. I might watch uh, uh, Rise of Anakin, uh, Rise of Skywalker. Sorry, um, you know. Uh, you know, I might watch them. I might watch the last ten minutes of the last film they made, which I haven't done yet because I turned it off. But I might get there one day, possibly. Uh, so, guys, thank you so much for and another thing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming to the video. I appreciate both of you being here. Um, the next video, uh, one of the next big videos, I'll be doing a live on my channel when we hit a thousand subscribers. We're at nine hundred and fifty at the moment. Uh, now that I'm back and getting content out, hopefully every Sunday there'll be another video out for you guys. It might not be actually uh, me building lightsabers, but we're orientated around Star Wars or lightsabers, uh, maybe reviewing things and that sort of stuff. I have got a review of a lightsaber coming up in the future, which will be something special. I'm not going to go into further more detail uh, right now, but it will be uh, an exceptional treat, I am sure. Um, but yeah, so keep out uh, eyes for Sunday. Most probably seven o'clock on Sunday, a video will be coming out on my channel. Like I said, it must probably be some lightsaber reviews or lightsaber stuff uh, until I'm able to work and walk my feet again properly. Uh, but thank you so much for coming to the video. I hope you enjoy this chat and uh, I, we will all see you later on. Thanks, guys. Bye. Peace, man. <laughs>